Today, prosecutors in the Egypt Covington murder case played video of an interview with police that finally reveals a motive. In that interview, one of the suspects explains why they came to Egypt's house in the first place. Defender Sean Lay has been closely following day two of the preliminary hearing. And Sean, after years of questions, it finally looks like we may have some answers. In this prelim preliminary hearing, that is correct. And some members of Egypt Covington's family saying they watched this in shock today. You're talking about defendant Shane Evans in that interview with MSP. He placed himself at the murder scene and the two other defendants saying he was directing them to one part of the duplex where they could steal marijuana. And he says the guys went into the wrong door, Egypt Covington's door. She was inside simply watching a movie. Okay, he was text wrong door. Yeah. Just those two words, wrong door. He said, hey man, no, we just hit wrong door. Wrong door, that's wrong, wrong door. door. Okay, whoops, whoops, wrong door. That's the voice of Shane Evans of Sumter Township being interviewed by a Michigan State Police investigator and blowing the lid off of the mystery of what happened to singer Egypt Covington, a case that was so cold for so long until MSP took over. And Evans' words are chilling. He says he led his own brother from Toledo, Timothy Moore, and Shandon Groom to a duplex on Hall Road the night of June 22nd, 2017. Evans told investigators he pointed to the home from his car, telling them that the unit on the right had marijuana in it and it would be easy to steal. He knew the man who lived there and knew he was not there. I knew he was not I, I knew nobody wasn't in the house. I said, he's not looking for him. Evan says he told Moore exactly which door to go in. I told him to go to the right. I knew 100% nobody was in that house. He did not go through the right door. He did not go through the right door. Evans indicating the men entered Egypt Covington's unit. Later, Egypt was found bound by her Christmas lights and shot in the head. Startling revelations there, but look, nothing's been proven. No one's been convicted, guys. This is a preliminary hearing to see if there's enough evidence to send these three men to trial. It's not over yet. It continues on Thursday. The defense will have a chance to raise a number of issues that they want to raise. Guys, back to you. Sean, you mentioned the evidence. What was revealed about the handling of evidence in this case? Van Buren Township Police first on the scene with Egypt Covington and this awful murder case, uh, situation. And it came up during court that one of the officers or detectives accidentally erased Egypt Covington's cell phone right there at the scene. And police also mentioned that other possible evidence was mishandled. We're sure, sure to hear a lot about that on Thursday. Yep. Keep us posted, Sean. We appreciate it.